Follow Fat Finger Gaming as we revisit and expand the 2014 college football playoff into an absurd 32-team tournament. Hi everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bowl trips are a great reward for teams that have worked so hard throughout the course of the season who had to fight and scratch and claw in order to become bowl eligible. A live look right now at two teams ready to cap their seasons with a W in the famous Idaho Potato Bowl. Thanks for joining us here on the Inaction. We'll see you at the half. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He's scrambling. He's tackled at about the 43 yard line. Now this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Makes the grab and steps out right away. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. Tackle at about the 37-yard line. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. He scrambled. And he's sacked. A nice play there, and that's his fifth sack of the season. I'll tell you what, this guy seems to give maximum effort on every play. He is so hard to keep off the quarterback. Second down and 11. Ball on the 28-yard line. He might not be able to get the pass off, and he's going to be sacked. And this play is number eight on the drive. it to the halfback on the screen and down he goes right around the 30 about five yards on the screen fourth down they're going to try a long field goal here usc is looking to go up by three he gets it up and he nails the long field goal Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. That's just a great call by the coordinator there going to the air on first down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. And they make 
make the stop at the 29 yard line. First and 10, all in the 29. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. He's taken down right around the 24 yard line. That'll make it second and four. He has some room. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 14. From the 14 yard line, it's first down. three-yard line. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Tackled for a loss. And that run got stuck. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle at the line of scrimmage there. Brings up a second and goal. Ball on the nine yard line. Touchdown, Kansas State. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. The state is up a field goal. And he hits the PAT. A nice nine-play, 76-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He's to the 20. The ball pops free. Scoops it up. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Kansas State's defense really came to play early in this football game. Well, they've done a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start to the game. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after the review, they reverse the call on the field. From their own 29-yard line, first down. And he's tackled at the 40-yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. He's got the corner. And they push him out around the 49-yard line. yardage grows to 2,500 for the year. That he's been able to throw the football this well all year is a tribute really to the entire offense. The linemen, the receivers, the coaches, everybody. It's not just about one player. Kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. 
He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a five-play, 71-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. The score now, 10-7. He's tackled at the 21-yard line. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. Finds his man, first down, and he's taken down right around the 38-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. From their own 38-yard line, first down. Nice run there. tight end. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. First down. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Six yards on the play. Inside the ten, and he hits him hard at the three. They'll be looking for six points here. That's the freshman who got in on that tackle. It's second and goal. Ball on the one-yard line. Touchdown, Wildcats. They're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. He takes it right side for a good game. it out to maybe the 39-yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. And he just gets rid of it. It's third and seven. Ball on the 39. Gets it. He's in space. And down he goes at the 49. We've played one quarter. The Wildcats lead 14-10. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point.
quickly to the tight end. Tackle made at the 29. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That's a game of 12 in the play. That makes it first and 10. Play action here. He's going to scramble. The 10 dives, and he's down. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player, because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dive packing. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. Got a quarterback, the offensive line, and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. They'll kick the extra point. And he adds the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. He's to the 20, and he's taken down the 25-yard line. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer, and that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Got some open field. He's taken down at the 37. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Now he's scrambling. And he tackles him hard. It's the 48-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 48. They'll bring him down at about the 43 yard line. support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes and he was able to get through for a loss. 39 yard line. It's second down. Takes it right and he can't get back to the line. Third down and they need to get it. it deep. Intercepted. It's the junior corner. Really impressed with this guy's closing speed on the ball. He's got the kind of jets to need to be a standout corner. From their own eight yard. First down. They bring him down in the backfield. has a three-point lead. Room around the corner. Nice gain as he works to the right side. That's good for a game of five yards. Third ball. Mike 35, Mike 35. Kill, kill, kill. Orange, 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 orange. 
He's scrambling. And he's level at the 13. Coming after this punter. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Lock it. Builds it at the 41. Oh, man, did he take a hit. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And he is drilled at the 45. Second and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. Rid of this one. Once and all, going deep. The defender had it and then dropped it. That's exactly how they drew it up in the sideline, and now they get the ball back. Is set back, ready to punt. He'll probably try to pooch this one into the corner. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. USC holds a field goal lead. Slings it. He's tackled around the 33-yard line. That's a great tackle at the 36. for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And he's tackled right around the eight-yard line. That makes it first and goal. They'll get him in the backfield. A one-yard loss. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. From the nine-yard line, it's second down. USC is up by three. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. Touchdown, USC! That's the second catch for six he's registered today. And a great awareness by the quarterback to get in the ball and pick up six points. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Complete. He's down. Kansas State's going to use their first time out of the half here. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Makes the grab and he's got the first. Tackle made the 42 yard line. to the senior and down he goes at the 18 yard line the Wildcats are going to call their he's knocked out of bounds right around the 12 yard line they're about four yards away here on second down Zips it to the back. He's tackled in the open field. Call it a gain of one yard. That makes it third and three. And he throws it away. They tried to fool him by running the same play again. Yeah, fooled no one there, Brad. This one should be makeable. It's a one possession game with this kick right here. He gets it up, and it is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. Jackson takes it at the four. And down he goes at the 24. I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there when they gave up such a long drive has had an impact and an effect negatively on the psyche of this defense. USC is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. They'll line up with five wide receivers. The Cavalry's coming. They'll bring him down right around the 44-yard line. Kill, kill, kill. Yellow three. Yellow three. USC is up by a touchdown. He's got to throw it in a hurry. He wants it all going long. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. Kessler, how good a half has he had? Four touchdown throws to begin with. The defense better wake up pretty soon before it gets real ugly. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. Brought down at the 14-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. They line up at the 12. Second down. So at the end of the half, the Trojans lead 31-17. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. 
There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's taken down around the 31-yard line. Everybody was fooled on that one. Hey, that was a good job here by the quarterback. That could have play fake as a real weapon against an aggressive defense like this. From their own 31-yard line. First down. Runs outside for a nice game. The Wildcats saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. Makes it to the 47. The options were the more difficult plays to defend. The defense went after the quarterback, which left the running back with plenty of room. From their own 47-yard line. First down. Defense coming and the ball comes out. He's tackled at about the 47-yard line. First and ten, ball on the 36-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Number eight is in at quarterback. Back up quarterback into the game now to call the signals. And he's level at the 41 yard line. Third down now. Need to get it to the 26. Handoff inside. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Jones picks up two yards with a carry. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. Booming kick. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Here comes the offense as they look to find the end zone yet again. Gets out to about the 22-yard line. That makes it second and eight. He scrambled. He's brought down in the open field. He's in trouble, and he's going to come up with a sack. Lockett is back deep to return the punt. Oh, excellent punt. Lock it. Fields it at the 37. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Nice run, and he's brought down. 
They're about four yards away here on second down. He's at the 40, and he's taken down to the 37-yard line. down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's tackled at about the 29 yard line. Inside the 10. Touchdown! I can guarantee you'll be seeing that one in the highlight reels. What a great, great run. And he hits the PAT. A nice five-play, 55-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. Kansas State is ready to kick it away. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. USC is up seven. Quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Smith was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it from their own 25 yard line. Second down. Easy, easy. And they make the stop right around the 24 yard line. up the screen. Tailback's got it. He's got an opening. He's at midfield. Down the sideline. Inside the 30. And he is drilled at the 23. tied in the whole way, but the defense didn't expect it. Sometimes those big guys can fool defenders into thinking they're blocking. USC is up a score. Lines his receiver. Touchdown. And that's his fifth touchdown throw. He's gotten great blocking up front the entire game, and his receivers are making plays. So I don't just give credit to the quarterback, but this entire offense for getting things done. And he adds the extra point. So that's a five-play, 74-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. The score now... 38-24. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 25. And Herbie, we got a guy down after that play. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Second and four. It's second and four. Ball on the 31. 
Straight run, and he's brought down in the backfield. situation here. It's second down and one. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. The Trojans linebacker came out of the game earlier with an injury, and he is so key calling the plays that front seven defensively. They need him back out there. Down around the 26 yard line. That's three down and one to go. The Trojans lead it by two touchdowns. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Fights forward to about the 26. That'll bring up third and six. And this is the eighth play of the drive. With the pass incomplete. These guys just don't seem to be on the same page, and they're gonna have to be if they expect to win this game. Looks like they're gonna go for it on fourth down. And he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. Play the drive. And he carries the ball for a nice game. This is the 11th play of this drive. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. No game. That makes it 30 goal. So here we go. It's third and goal from the two-yard line. I got you, Pop. Pretty hard to pitch the ball when you think you can get in. That's a smart decision to keep it for the score. And he tacks on the extra point. A 12-play, 76-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. He makes it to the 18-yard line. Fred, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. A score here might effectively end this one. USC up seven points. Got the corner. Gives it off. He's tackled at the 37. 
First down. Pitch out. And down he goes around the 39 yard line. From their own 39-yard line, it's second down. He gets hit out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Call it a gain of seven yards. That'll make it third and one. to the fullback. They can't hook up. Incomplete. Lockett, the return man. He gets it away. And this is a really nice punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. He's taken down at about the 21. That brings up second and nine. It's second and nine. Ball on the 21-yard line. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. down 10 to go ball on the 30 he makes it out to maybe the 33 yard line Gain of three yards. that'll make it second and seven it's second down seven to go ball on the 33 Here they come. And he's tackled at about the 33 yard line. That makes it 37. And off, and he won't make it. Now you're making it very hard for yourself to come back when you make play calls like that. This is not the time to run the football. Rouse is waiting for the snap. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Now, what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, I think this whole offense is really clicking, and it's allowing him as a quarterback just to settle in and find his rhythm. You know, the coaches told us all week this week that they thought they could expose this secondary. Right now, that's exactly what we're seeing. It's one big play after another. So give the quarterback a lot of credit, but let's not forget about the guy calling the plays. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. USC is up by a touchdown. Throws complete, big loss. They're stopped for a five-yard loss. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. Ball on the 35. Gain 
runs his way to the 46-yard line. Lockett, back to return it. Excellent punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Kansas State's been unable to really show that they're the team to beat here, but it looks like they're going to get another chance at it. Well, it's now or never. This team has put themselves in a position where they have to hope for some heroics late. It's because they played sloppy most of the game. They're very fortunate they still have a chance to be able to win this game. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He's out to the 30. Gets out to around the 32. doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. And they make the stop at the 49. From their own 49-yard line. Complete. He was looking for the tight end. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. Tackle at the 30-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. to go. Ball on the 14-yard line. A little over a minute in the game. Gets to about the 11-yard line. Kansas State will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Here's the eighth play of the series. Nice play to set up first and goal. Brad, you just don't see this very often anymore in college football. That is their fifth first down on this drive alone. They have great rhythm right now as an offense. And look at that poor defense. They're looking over to the sidelines to the defensive coordinator for some help. They need a touchdown, Kansas State. Late in the fourth quarter, one possession game. And this is where poise really takes over. Whoever shows it will win the football game for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. It's fielded at the 2. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 25. Kickoff return 22 yards. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession's going to count, and this could be the one right here. Under a minute left. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle made at the 
42 yard line. Check, check. Answer, First down. Under heavy pressure. Going deep. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. Second and ten. Ball on their own 42. Fires incomplete. Overthrew his man, but boy, did he have some heat on it. He just needs to put a little bit more touch on that pass. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. He throws right. Makes the grab, and he's knocked out of bounds. Big play right there. From the 32-yard line, first down. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receivers. He'll learn he doesn't always need to use his cannon. Sometimes precision is more important than power. The Trojans taking their first time out of the half. 18 yard line. It's first down. Drop down around the eight yard line. The Trojans use their second time out. First and goal as they look to take the lead. Seven. USC's called their final timeout. Tenth play of the drive. That brings up second and goal. It's up. Yes, he made it, and this one is over. And that gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, USC 41, Kansas State 30.